Hey guys, welcome to the 25th video of the playlist How to use SOLIDWORKS for beginners For those who are new to the channel, the link of the playlist is given in the description box below or you can simply click on the i button which is present on the right top corner of your screen In this video, we will be understanding how to add reference planes to our 3D model Okay, so let's start with that now you can see that already there are three planes present, the front plane, the top plane and the right plane. But there will be many situations when you do complex geometry that you require one more additional plane at a particular angle or at a particular distance. So at that time you would have to add a new plane. So let us see how to add a new plane. Now suppose if I want to add a plane which is parallel to this plane and at a distance of 30 mm. So how can I do that? So for that, I will go to insert, then I will go to reference geometry and then I will go to plane. And after this thing is done, it is asking us for three references, the first reference, second reference and the third reference. It is not necessary to select all three references. Instead, you can select any one, any two or any three depending upon the situation. Okay. Now. As we want a plane parallel to this particular plane, therefore I am going to select this plane. And can you see, I am getting a plane which is parallel to it. Now suppose if I want this plane to be at a distance of 30 mm, then I will enter the value here as 30. And can you see, now the distance between our uh, earlier plane and the new plane is 30 mm. Now, if you want to change the direction, if you want this plane to be downside, to be down, then you can select flip offset. And can you see, now the plane is still at a distance of 30 mm, but it is it has changed its particular direction. Okay, if I deselect this option, then can you see, it has again returned to its position. Now, if you want, let's say, uh, four planes, so you will enter the number of planes here as four. And can you see? that now you are getting four additional planes clear so now i will click on ok now guys after this thing is done now suppose if i want to add a plane in between this particular plane and this plane ok so in between these two planes this plane and this plane i want to add one plane here so how i can do that now so for that i will again go to insert i will go to reference geometry go to planes now i will select my first reference as one plane and the second reference as the another plane so as soon as i select them can you see that the uh, the plane the new plane that we are getting is exactly in the middle okay and there is a relation that is being added that is mid plane relation is added which means that the new plane will be exactly in the middle of the selected two planes okay once this is done i will now click on okay now before clicking on OK, let me tell you guys that you can see here there is first reference op option available, the second reference option available and third reference option available. Now when you are selecting these references, make sure that you can only select a particular face, a edge or a vertex. Okay, you can select any of this. Okay, it is not necessary that you have to select a face only. Clear? I will now click on OK. So our plane is now getting added. Now guys, as you can see here, that uh, I want, suppose uh, there are no more planes on the screen now and I don't want to see them. I want to hide them. Okay. So what I will do is that I will go to your feature manager. Then I will go to plane. Suppose if I want, want to hide this particular plane, I will right click on this and here there is an option of hide. Can you see? Now suppose if you want to again have a look at it, then you can again go to plane click on right click on it and you can see now show now can you see your plane is now visible now since we want to hide all of them so therefore i will select this right click click on hide done and let's hide this plane as well okay done now suppose guys uh I want to add a slant slanting plane okay I want to add a plane which is slant to this particular face so how I can add that so I will again go to uh, insert go to reference geometry go to plane 
and in that see what i am going to do in the first reference i am going to select a one face so i want to add a plane which is slant to this particular plane something like this so therefore i am going to select this particular face and in the second reference i am going to select a edge okay i want to select a edge and can you see now uh, what has happened is that solid works it has assumed that you want a per perpendicular plane but no i don't want a perpendicular plane instead i want it at a particular angle so i will go here and now i will define angle suppose if i want uh, let's say 60 degree enter 60 suppose if i wa don't want in this particular direction i want somewhat down so i will select the flip option op option available and can you see now i can change the direction of it as well clear so i hope guys this is easy let's change the direction see okay and now let's click on okay now after this thing is done now suppose guys i want a plane i want a plane which which must pass through this particular edge and this edge as well okay it must pass through the two opposite edges this edge which is present here and the one which is present here so what i will do is that i will go to reference geometry insert reference geometry go to planes and in the first reference i am going to select one edge and in the second reference i am going to select another edge so as you can see that now uh, it has a uh, created a plane which is passing through both the edges i'll click on okay now suppose if you select two faces which are adjacent to each other then let's see what happen okay so i will go to insert reference geometry go to planes and suppose if i select uh, this particular plane and this plane as you can see that both the faces are adjacent to each other so when i select this then what is happening is that the plane new plane which you can see which is created here will be exactly uh, subtended uh, extended at an angle similar to both the planes this particular plane is uh, let's say at an angle of 45 degree to this particular face and it will also be at an angle of 45 degree this angle will also be a 45 degree to this face so it will in short lie in both the if it it will in short lie in between both the planes okay so it is making same angle this angle is also same and this angle should also be same let's click on okay now once this is done suppose guys now i want a plane which is at a distance of 30 mm from this particular uh, can you see this edge wait i'll select this edge first okay now can you see this edge suppose if i want a plane which is at an angle of 30 which is at a distance of 30 mm from this edge and it is somewhat slant like this so how i can do that so for that what i will do is that i will select a uh, this plane i will press control 8 so that this becomes perpendicular to my line of vision now after this thing is done now let us sketch okay what i am doing i am going to sketch on it i am going to draw a line see okay let's define the angle to be a uh, 50 degree with the horizontal so for that i'm going to draw a horizontal center line as well but let's get now let's give that a smart dimension and let's define the angle to be 50 degree now once this is done now what i said is that i want a plane which is at a distance for 30 mm right so if you want the plane to be at a distance 30 mm then make sure that the line which we have drawn should also be having a length of 30 mm so when i draw, did the sketch i did not consider 30 mm so if i want to now consider 30 mm so what i will do i will go to this particular sketch i will edit the sketch and i will give the smart dimension as 30 Can you see? Okay. Now once this is done, see now what I will do. I want the plane somewhat like this. Okay. 
so for that i will go to insert reference geometry select plane and in the first reference what i will select is this particular line can you see and in the second reference i am going to select this point so what has happened over here is that the plane which is created will be uh, acting as a normal to your line see this line is normal to the plane normal means what it is at an angle of 90 degree perpendicular this line is perpendicular to the plane and can you see guys now the plane that is being created it is at an angle and it is at a distance of 30 mm from this particular uh, edge clear with this see this edge distance between this edge and this plane is nothing but the distance of this line and it is nothing but 30 mm so this is how you can create various planes at a different angle now there is one more option available that if you want to insert a plane you can do it by simply selecting the vertex vertices okay so i will go to reference geometry insert plane i will select any three vertices suppose if i select this vertice okay i select this one and after this i am going to select this particular vertex vertex now see what is happening is that see the plane that you have created is passing through all the three vertices can you see so this is how you can insert made make a plane by choosing the vertices as well okay now just click on okay see so guys i hope that you have understood how you can add different variety of planes that are available here now after this so suppose if you are having a curved surface for example so now to understand how to add planes to the curved surface i have created a 3d model which is having a curved surface here so now let us go to insert select reference geometry select plane and in the first reference let us select this curved surface okay now can you see that the plane that is being created is tangential to the face uh, that we have selected now see the plane uh, we can see the plane projection of the plane but this plane is not completely defined so for that you have to select one more uh, plane or one more vertex or an edge so i'm going to select this particular plane and now see what happens see there is a relation perpendicular that is being added which means that this face that we have selected will be perpendicular to the new plane okay now if you want to change the direction suppose if you want over here so you can just simply flip offset and can you see now it has changed its direction or side now if you uh, change the relation instead of perpendicular if you make it parallel then see what happens now you are getting plane in this particular direction now again you can deselect the flip offset and the direction will be changed okay so this is how you can add a plane to the curved surface as well now guys there is one more option available that is nothing but the live section plane now what is this live section plane so when i go to insert reference geometry and when i select a live section plane it is asking me to select a planar face or a plane as initial sectioning plane so i want to select this particular plane now can you see the speciality of the live section plane is that you can move it in the x direction you can move it in the z direction you can even move it in the y direction not only that you can even define the angle can you see if we rotate this it is getting revolved okay now see can you see you can even define an angle between the x and the z plane can you see So this is how you can define all the angles. If you want to define an angle between the z and the y plane, you can define that as well. So this is the feasibility of the live section plane. Now suppose if there is no 3D model present, then how you can add a plane? So for that you have to select either a front plane, top plane, or a right plane, and accordingly you can add a plane. Suppose if I select the front plane, and if I want to add a plane parallel to it at a distance of 40 mm, then the procedure is same. I will go to insert. Uh, i will go to reference geometry select plane and 
I will insert insert 40 here. Okay. As soon as I enter 40, can you see a new plane at a distance of 40 mm is being created. So the procedure is the same even if you don't have a 3D model. Just what you have to do is that you have to select any of the three, either the front plane, uh, right plane, or the top plane. Or one more option you can have, a, have, have available is that you can uh, sketch something and as I shown earlier, after sketching you can uh, draw a plane which is either parallel or perpendicular to your sketch. Okay, then so guys I hope that you have understood the video. Uh, you have understood how to add the planes in SOLIDWORKS and if you like this video then please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and go check out other SOLIDWORKS videos on my channel. They might be helpful for you all. Guys, thank you for watching this video.